What's happening here? It's your boy Loaded Lux. You know what's up when I'm rolling up. You're now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Live. Me. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus tripped young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I'll get all my facts from my bro Mark What's going on? It's Trip Young for Real Fans Real Talk Dropping in to give y'all a quick rundown of my staff picks For week three of the NFL season Before we jump into that though Make sure that you guys subscribe to that YouTube channel YouTube.com forward slash for the fans productions and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Real Fan Talk. All right, so first things first, Thursday night game. Uh, the Jets are going out to Cleveland. I'm taking the Browns on the road. They haven't won since like 2015. I think it's about time that they got a win. Plus, these last two games have uh, been really close ones. Uh, the tie with Pittsburgh and uh, the loss to the Saints uh, off of, the, off of the, the, the kicker. So I'm taking the Browns to win this one at home. Sorry to all you Jets fans out there. Uh, next game, Broncos versus Ravens. Uh, Ravens at home. I mean, I know I got to go with the Ravens on this one. That might be a little bit of my bias in there, but I'm still taking the Ravens to win a close one at home versus the Broncos. Don't kill me for this one, Broncos fans. And, uh, of course, next up, Giants. They are going out to Texans, uh, go up against J.J. Watt in that defense. I don't know, man, that Giants offensive line got to get it together. Uh, man, I, I want to say this is the game that they that they take on the road, but I got to go against the grain on this one. So I'm taking the, the Texans to win this game over the Giants. Hopefully the Giants can bounce back in week four. Uh, next up, Patriots playing the Lions. I mean, y'all know how Tom Tukul does coming off of a loss, so I just feel like he's going to light up the Detroit Lions. It's going to be something crazy. I think Josh Gordon is actually in line for a really good game in his debut as well. I think it's going to be a whole lot of action going on, but look for Tom Brady to throw for at least 350 yards in this game and at least two touchdowns. I'm going to go three, actually, at least three touchdowns in this game because he's coming back off of a loss. That was a rough one, a uh, rough loss against Jacksonville, so I'm going with the Patriots uh, in this game on the road. Next up, we got a battle of the NFC South. The uh, the Saints uh, going into Atlanta to play those Dirty Birds. Uh, this one's a toss up for me, but I think I'm just I'm gonna go with the Falcons at home. Calvin Ridley is finally starting to come on um, at wide receiver. So between him and Julio Jones, I think that uh, they're gonna have a nice little uh, wide receiver tandem for some time to come. Now, so I'm going with the Falcons. At home, next up, 49ers versus the Chiefs. I don't know, man, that, that young kid, uh, Patrick Mahomes, man, he's been lights out uh, so far this the season. Now, can he keep up that play the whole year? I don't know. But uh, I do have the Chiefs winning this game over the 49ers at home. I just think the kid gets it done against the 49ers. Uh, next up, Raiders versus the Dolphins. Raiders are going into... Miami, that's going to be a tough game for them. Um, I mean, we saw John Gruden this week talking about he needs uh, some more pass rushing. He had some pass rushing. He traded him uh, over to the Bears. Khalil Mack, probably the best end in football right now. Uh, you see what he's been doing with the Bears. So, sorry, I'm going with the Dolphins in this one over the Raiders. Uh, next up, Bills going to, uh, into Minnesota. I mean, that's, that's clear. The Bills are horrible this year. I'm going with Minnesota. And an easy, dominant win. Uh, Colts playing the, the Eagles in Philadelphia. As much as I hate to, to give the Eagles their props, Carson Wentz is coming back. They're going to be hyped up in there in Philly. They're probably going to have Meek Mill out there in the stadium. So I'm going with the Eagles uh, in this game. Packers on the road against the Redskins. This is going to be a tricky one because I don't know if Aaron Rodgers is going to play in this game. He's been talking about his knee this week. So I'm not 100% sure. If Aaron Rodgers is able to play, I'm picking the Packers. If he doesn't play, I got to go Redskins. I think they get get it back together if they have a break and not having to deal with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback because the Packers' backup quarterbacks are worse than garbage. So sorry, guys, but I got to go with the Redskins on that one. Uh, but only if um, Aaron Rodgers is out, I'm, I'm taking the Redskins. If not, I'm going Packers. Uh, next game, Bengals on the road versus the Panthers. I think this is where the Bengals get their first loss. I think uh, Cam Newton, Christian McCaffrey, and those guys, I think they get it together. 
get the win at home. What I do think is going to be a close defensive game. I'm just going with the Panthers at home uh, in this one. Next up, Titans Jaguars. I mean, Jaguars just been beasting this season. You guys see it. Uh, they they've gotten even better that defense with Jalen Ramsey. They look even better than they did last year. They're my early pick to go to the Super Bowl. So I'm taking uh, the Jaguars over the Titans in this one. I just don't think the, the two teams are even close. All right, next up, Chargers on the road versus the Rams. I'm going with the Rams. Uh, that's my NFC pick to make it to the Super Bowl. Those guys have gotten better each, uh, you know, each game is like they get better and better. They building off for the success they had last year. And then, of course, you know, adding on and Dominica Sue to that defense. They added Brandon Cooks to the offensive side of the football. They're looking really good this season. I'm taking the Rams in a dominant win over the Chargers at home. Uh, next up, Bears Cardinals. I got to go with the Bears, man. The Cardinals been looking shaky, baby. Uh, the first two weeks of the season, that quarterback play is trash. And um, the Bears, I mean, you got Khalil Mack coming at you, bro. I don't even know if it matters if they put the rookie in uh, in this game or not. Khalil Mack will be coming for you, and that's, that's something you want. We see what they did last week uh, all over the field. So I'm going with the, with the Bears in this one over the Cardinals on the road. Uh, Cowboys, Seahawks in Seattle. I'm taking Seattle. I think they get back on track this week. I think they get it together. Um, and I think uh, the Cow Cowboys uh, slow down a little bit on the road. I mean, they, they didn't have a great game against the Giants. They won, but I think they it was more sort of the Giants lost last week as opposed to the, the, the Cowboys winning. So I'm going with Seattle on at home. I think they get it together. Um, and then, of course, the Monday night game still is on the road versus the Bucks. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with the Steelers right now, but I'm probably this is a rough one. But I'm I'm gonna go with the Bucks on Monday Night Football. I think we're gonna see more of that uh, uh, Ryan uh, Fitz magic because that Steelers defense. I mean, we saw what they what they let uh, Mahomes do to them last week, you know. So I'm going with the uh, Bucks at home. More uh, Ryan Fitz magic. With that being said, though, uh, make sure you guys tune in tonight when we go live, 8 to 9 p.m. on Verizon 44, BPN2, all throughout New York City. Uh, it's Trip Young, man. I'm signing out. Subscribe to that channel, man. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. RealTalk.com, where Arthur Dom is Trip Young and intern Tom, for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cats.